हेलो एंड वेलकम माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहन सर फ्रॉम मेहदी इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल आई वेलकम माय ऑल डियर थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स वंस अगेन इन साइंस लेक्चर सो माय डियर लिटिल जेम्स यू ऑल नो दैट वी आर रिवाइजिंग फॉर एफ ए वन एग्जाम सिंस टू टू थ्री लेक्चर्स एंड यू नो नाउ Science exam paper is approaching, and you have a day or two more to revise for it. So now this is the second last revision lecture for FA one, and I hope that previous few lectures were very much important and very much useful for you all. As my only motto is to. get you prepared for fa1 paper in all the ways now as this is the second last revision lecture i have brought one more important thing with our old content that is the content will remain same but the question and the format will change in which i think you have to get prepared your way so before starting anything i hope that you have your books and pencils with you and that you have plugged in your earphones so that you will be able to understand each and everything because it is not necessary that all the time i'll be speaking with the high pitch voice so anyways let's see what we are going to do today so we are going to revise the first half part of paper style so be ready with your books and pencils in this lecture though the revision will be for the same content but all the questions are twisted so as we have limited format we can't ask you long question answers but the objectives may be twisted in your exam so i thought let's make the video on the same so that you will be able to get familiar with how the questions are twisted but anyways for those who have prepared thoroughly for them everything is just a piece of cake to solve so let's get started what are we going to do today true or false and mcq so i hope that you are ready so please give the heading final revision in your books in the new page give the heading final revision and don't forget to put today's date so now that i hope that you are ready first thing what we are going to do is mcq now what you have to do is repeat the question once and answer once after the correct answer is displayed that means first i am not going to display the correct answer that is you have to guess the correct answer and write it down in your book then i'll display it because few questions might be twisted so i hope that you are ready now that you have the knowledge now you will come to know that whether you have mugged up the answer or whether you have understood the answers for those who have understood the answers and then they have learned it for them this will be the easy session for those who have just by hearted the answers in the sequence for them this is going to be really twisted and complex session so for the one who have by hearted the answers please try to understand the answers and this lecture especially i have made for you all now let's get started please give the heading mcq below the heading you have given revision give the heading mcq just a short form and be ready to read the question and write the answers before i display be honest be loyal write the answers before i display so that you yourself will come to know 
how much you know and how much you are lacking behind okay so I hope that you have written the heading now the first question sharp object that can cause injury now you will say that sir this question we have solved twice before this lecture yes I know that you have solved this twice but the options might be twisted let's see here are the options a shoes b screwdriver c knife d both b and c now here look at the question carefully sharp object that can cause injury shoes can cause injury okay if you throw the heavy shoes on someone someone may get hurt but it is not a sharp object and please apply the same criteria with screwdriver and knife and just write your answers before I display the correct answer is it A, B, C or D if you select D that will ultimately select both B and C that is screwdriver and knife please try to understand the question and write the answer what is the correct answer according to you and then you are free to write the correct answer as soon as I display it so sharp object that can cause injury now that I hope that you have written the answers let's see what the correct answer is here the correct answer is D both B and C that means both screwdriver as well as knife now knife you all know this option was even there before we have done the revision but screwdriver 50% might be knowing what is screwdriver and 50% don't know now for that I would just ask you to google it or to ask your parents to show what is a screwdriver it is used to fit the screw to fix the screw or to remove the screw so screwdriver is also the sharp object which can cause injury so here both B and C are the correct that is why I have kept the option D which says that both B and C so this is also the pattern one such pattern which can come in exam so you have to be prepared you have to be practical correct now if you know what is screwdriver what is knife this answer is very much easy see that is why I always ask you to understand the question and not to just by heart or learn it okay so now I hope that at least few might have written this answer the correct answer if not it is okay please write down the correct answer and repeat after me sharp object that can cause injury answer both B and C that is screwdriver and knife let's move forward number two color of traffic lights oh this is also done a lot of times we have solved this again options might vary with the question let's see option A says red yellow blue option B says green yellow red whereas option C says green white yellow so what do you think is the correct combination there are the combinations not a single light isn't it please write down your answers according to your knowledge or what you remember from the previous explanation lectures so I'll give you a few seconds to write down your answer you can just write A B or C even if you want to write the detail you can write it down color of traffic lights we even have discussed the detailed use of each light so the one who have watched the lectures in the sequence might be able to give the answer for this is it red yellow blue or is it green yellow red or is it green white yellow 
okay so if you have written the answer and i hope that you might have written the answer let's see what the correct answer is the correct answer is green yellow red these are the three colors of traffic light okay so i hope that many of you might have written this because this is uh, even the general knowledge if you have observed the traffic light carefully you you will be able to answer this so anyways the question may come in which i'll give you only the one one option to select a one correct light or this way also it might come in your exams now let's see what the next question is things found in the first aid box okay now here also the varieties of option can come let's see what the options are here options are a cards b pencil c cotton d ruler okay now if you don't know what is first aid box and if you are appearing for the exam just like that as you are feeling is it a fun that is very wrong so you don't know what is first aid box so you might select the incorrect option you might select the options which is in the compass box no but the first aid box and the compass box are very different so again if you know the answer please write it down and then i'll display the correct answer i hope at least 60 to 70% of the students those are watching the lecture will write the correct answer things found in the first aid box generally we should keep first aid box in every house okay now let's see what the correct answer is correct answer is cotton so cards pencil ruler these are not there in the first aid box first aid box is a medical related box in which all the emergency bandages cotton scissors antiseptic creams etc are kept if you get wound or injured in some way at your home so cotton is the correct answer here i hope that many have written this correct answer okay moving on to the next question fourth red color in traffic light indicates what now let's see what the options are run stop take u turn speed up so what is the correct answer please write it down here the answer can only be one because it only indicates one thing so that is the reason why i have revised these things again and again so that even when you are when you are not awake and when you are in the sleep still in your head the correct answer is stored red color in traffic indicates dash whether it indicates run whether it indicates stop or it indicates take u turn or speed up okay i hope that you are writing the answers and let's see what the correct answer is if you have written the correct answer here the correct answer is stop that means if you see the red light you have to stop your vehicle for a while till it again turns into green so red color please repeat this this is important please repeat after me students red color in traffic indicates stop okay now let's see what the next question is and i hope that you are repeating whenever i'm asking you to do so because let's make this class lively so this is give and take if i i ask you to do something and if you'll do something then only it will be successful okay number 5 an immediate help given to someone is called what so when you give an immediate care to someone immediate help to someone it is called what options are a first cry b first help c first aid or d icu now please write down your answers whether it is a b or c or d an immediate help given to someone is called what is it first cry first help first aid or icu i hope that you have written the answers the correct answer i hope the same 
let's see what the correct answer is first aid so now before one or two questions we discussed about the first aid things first aid stuff that is the first aid box which can help someone which can give the immediate help to someone if you have got any cuts or wounds while working at home or near somewhere in the residence so please repeat this sentence after me loudly and clearly an immediate help given to someone is called first aid clear enough moving on to the next one example of omnivores different examples are given let's see how the options are different from what you have seen previously options are a deer b cow c none d both a n b example of omnivores yes previously i have given the same question in different way this question says omnivores that means what first you need to understand if you have forgotten omnivores plant and flesh both if the animals eat both they are omnivores so you have to decide whether deer or cow eats both or none of them eats or both deer and cow eats animals flesh as well as plants please write down your answer and wait for me to display the correct answer example of omnivores is it deer or is it cow or none or both a and b you should have the detailed knowledge if you want to select the correct answer okay let's display the correct answer option c is correct that is none neither the deer nor the cow is an omnivore both are herbivore correct so even if you select d there is both a and b still it is incorrect none means neither of the given options neither a nor b so i hope that 50% at least of the students watching the lecture have written the correct answer anyways so those who have written the correct answer congratulations now you have the mastery over the types of animals next question is number 7 animal that chew the cud let's see the options quickly a giraffe b rat c cow d none so either it should be a b c or it should be d none please write down your answers there is nothing to explain much this is the eating habit animal that chew the cud i hope that you have written the answer from the options a giraffe b rat c cow d none now if you have written the correct answer let's see what the answer is here the correct answer is cow okay so cow chew the cud now you know the cud it swallows the food and again it when it rests rests or sit at one place brings back the food to the mouth chew it and digest it this is called to chew the cud a process of eating so i hope that maximum of you have written the correct answer moving on to number 8 animals that know again this is also eating habit a style of eating options are now here again the combination of animals are given look at it carefully rats and cow rabbits and ox rats and rabbits or is it squirrel and cow now if you see in every option one correct option is given but there should be the two combination of perfect pair now cow is definitely not an option because in the previous seventh question we saw that cow has the habit of chewing the cud so a should not be the option it should be b c or d again in d if you see cow is there so please decide and write your answer before i display the correct answer whether it is a b c or d which animals are these options know their food 
let's see what the correct answer is please check your answers if you have written correct answer is rats and rabbits also the squirrels but here with the squirrel option is given cow so correct option is rats and rabbits so this is the also way how i can twist the questions to confuse you in mcq please be alert while you are reading the question as well as the options read it thoroughly before giving the answer moving on to the next one mosquito dash their food again eating habit do they know do they chew do they suck or do they swallow please write down the answer quickly mosquito dash their food a b c or d no chew suck or swallow what do they do with their food now let's see what the correct answer is please compare your answer with this answer correct answer is suck now i have given you the example how mosquito sits at our skin also and bites us to suck our blood so mosquito suck their food is the correct answer moving on to 10th one cats and dogs dash water answer e, uh, options are a lap up b suck c gargle or is it d sprinkle cats and dogs dash water quickly write down your answers if you know or if you think any of these could be the answer please write it down in your book before i display cats and dogs dash water i hope that you have written the answers please compare your answer correct answer is lap up they lap up the water with the tongue if you know i have even shown you the pictures so this is the correct answer now moving on to true or false write your answers before correct answers are displayed like you did in the mcq just you have to write answer 1 true or false answer 2 true or false whatever you feel like number 1 different animals have different eating habits do you think is it true or false please write down the answer answer 1 whatever you feel and then you can check your answers different animals have different eating habits is it true or is it false now if you have written the answer let's see what the correct answer is this statement is true now you will say why just simply if you have observed the first half part of this lecture in this lecture itself the different eating habits were shown cow chewing the cud then dogs and cats lap up the milk and the water so then the rabbits and squirrels and all know their food so different animals have different eating habit isn't it that is why this statement is true statement and i hope that you have written the same if not it is okay now please modify your answers number 2 so let me read the question let me read the statement first of all animals such as lion tiger eat flesh of other animals see this same question was there but the question is twisted animals such as lion tiger eat flesh of other animals please write down your answer is it true or false according to you so answer number 2 is it true or false and i hope that you have written the answer because you just have to write either it is true or it is false correct answer is true this statement is true why animals such as lion tiger eat flesh of other animals yes they do but in your books i have given you true or false in which it was written that animals such as lion tiger eats plants and vegetables there it was false but here the statement is changed that is why the answer is changed to two so that is the only reason why i ask you to learn the answers after understanding it properly if you just mug up the answers just 
learn it by heart it without understanding it is of no use you should be able to understand why the particular statement is true or why is it false correct so i hope that this is useful to you now moving on to next one number 3 snakes swallow their food please write down the answers snakes swallow their food is it true or is it false do you think that a snakes swallow their food if you think so write true or if you don't write false i hope that you written your answer the correct answer is true snakes swallow their food now again if you compare to your book there i have given that snakes have chewing teeth and then answer is false because they don't have chewing teeth they have the teeth through which they eject the poison otherwise they just swallow their food they never chew their food so this statement is right where it is written snakes swallow their food and i hope this concept is clear moving on to the next one a frog has a short sticky tongue to catch its prey read the statement carefully and write your answers please a frog has short sticky tongue to catch its prey now i hope that you written your answer whether it is true or false and that you have understood the statement this is false now you will say oh sir i have written true because frogs have the sticky tongue and they catch is their prey you have shown us the picture and etc etc but if you read the statement carefully a frog has a short sticky tongue no they have the long and sticky tongue so even the one word is wrong the statement is wrong it is false isn't it so if i give you that the frog has a long sticky tongue to catch its prey then it is true but here the word short is used so this statement goes false moving on to the fifth one you should keep your books and toys at their place after using please write your answers you should keep your books and toys at their place after using is it true or is it false yes this is very much easy i hope that you have written your answers statement is true obviously you should keep the books and the toys at their places after you use it correct so in your book it was given that you should keep it on the floor as it is after using it there it was false but here it is true and i hope you know now what is the difference moving on to sixth one you should touch electric switches with wet hands please write your answers you should touch electric switches with wet hands i hope that you are writing the answers you should touch electric switches with the wet hand let's see what the correct answer is false this statement is false because you should not touch with the wet hands it's very clear very simple number number 7 you should run up and down the stairs you should run up and down the stairs quickly write down your answers should you run up and down the steps the stairs the staircases let's see what the correct answer is this statement is false because if you run up and down the stairs you may fall down and get injured so this way you have to be prepared for the twisted questions and i hope that you now are familiar with how the question can be twisted and how you have to read carefully the questions as well as the options in the case of mcq so that you don't get puzzled and write the incorrect answer because you are not once you submit the exam you will not be allowed to appear for it second time computer will not accept your test a second time in paper it was possible to strike out the answers but here after you submit i should say once you submit 
there is no possibility for appearing it for the second time so be careful read the questions options precisely and write your answers properly i hope that this lecture was very much useful to you thanks for watching the lecture wish you good luck goodbye